All right, so we're here to kick off our spring sessions for 2024. So hope everyone had a good holiday time and um, hope everyone's staying warm. I know it's about to get pretty cold over here in Oklahoma. So hopefully everyone stays warm this coming week. Um, so let's see, we have uh, Grandma Dee, Miss Marion, Grandma Martha Nell, and then we have Alice Ann, myself, and Aunt Carolyn for our learners. And so we'll go ahead and <clears throat> kind of look at the topics that we could start with today. Um, and I was thinking for our opening prayer, we could uh, listen to one of the opening prayers in um, the Kiowa Culture Program recordings in the tapes. That's okay with everyone. All right, so let me pull up the folder, the list. All right, so here is the list of the Kiowa Culture Program tapes. Um, so does anyone have, oh, there's Tim. Tim's joining. All right, so uh, can everyone see my screen? Ah. Uh. Awesome. All right, are there any topics that you mm -hmm. are interested in listening to or hearing about? Hi, Tim, welcome. We're just looking at, looking to choose a topic to listen to. Hello. Uh, let's see here. So um, let's see, we have... I wonder what this one is. Social activities, maybe that's supposed to say welfare and health. And then a couple things on health. Um, let's see. I'll scroll down. Let me know if you see one that looks interesting. Any topics jumping out at you? <clears throat> Look Is there at one any... three oh. Oh one three. It's about what was that? One three oh. One three oh this one? Three zero names has me. Is that the one? I don't. Well, there's one. There's one two nine and one two one three zero. Oh. I'm. I'm just. You know. You guys decide. Well, thank you. That's. Those are good. Good ideas. Um, let's see. I I heard All someone right. else is going to say something. Sorry. No, it's all good. One, two, eight. One, two, eight. Okay. 
I was just going to, this is Alice. I was just going to say, is there something that you haven't covered since I haven't um, made um, um, every Sunday? Um, I was just wondering if there was a topic y'all hadn't actually listened to. Um, well, surprisingly, we haven't listened to all of them yet. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I know that we've listened to these, these three before when we were, um, looking at the, the Sundance circle and trying to decipher all the names. Um, uh -huh. we, uh, we haven't necessarily listened to kind of some of the ones in the beginning, and then, like, I don't think we've listened to this one, Method of Starting a Fire. Uh, things about Kiowa camping, I don't think we've listened to. Um, let's see. I mean, it's it's pretty much like... Uh, I know that we've listened to the ones about the, uh, like, uh, Kiowa kinship you know, like family structure and stuff. We listened to those a lot um, when we were preparing for our outreach on kinship terms. Um, and what were those ones about TP? Uh, let's see. So there's, there's several of them. So it's kind of like, it's like they keep, they talk about it different ways. So there's this one, which, uh, let me look and see if there's any. Okay, so there's uh, Kiowa Method Making Teepee, Kiowa Prep Teepee Poles, Kiowa Ways of Putting Up a Teepee. I don't know what this is. Many uses for tent. I don't know what that means. Uh, what teepees mean to Kiowa. Kiowa Method That would be interesting. Which one? What does mean to Kiowa? Ah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've listened to that one yet. Well, I mean, I know we use them, but I mean, you, you never, I mean, because we, we are taught never to ask why, you know, you just get told things. Mm -hmm. And um, so you never really question. So I know we've always used them, but I don't know <clears throat> what they would have to say about what they mean to us. I mean, I would be interested in that, but whatever um, <clears throat> Grandma Marion wants to to do is fine with me too awesome well thank you okay so so far we have uh number 149 what teepees mean to kiowa and then we have uh 128 129 or 130 which is respect of kiowa relationships and then each kiowa name has a meaning as options. What does everyone else think? Any other ideas or any preferences? Aunt Carolyn and Grandma Dee, do you have any thoughts one way or the other? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, Tim, what about you? What are you thinking? Oh, I'm just here to listen. Oh. All right. And uh Grandma Mark the now. Don't really have a preference because I've kind of looked at some of these already and they all have good information. So any of them would be interesting, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here. Well, just because I think this is one that I don't think we've listened to ever in these sessions, I'd love to listen to this uh, number 149, what teepees mean to Kiowa, and just see yeah. see how it see how it sounds. <laughs> uh, so first, let me let me test it out because sometimes the audio is kind of hard to hear in these ones. So let me see, and then let me uh, stop sharing and pull it up.
Okay, so it sounds like it should be okay for sound wise. So let me go ahead and share the audio. And get this pulled up. Make sure I press the right button. Okay. Sorry, I opened it in the wrong format. Let me let me try again. I think. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, cool. <laughs> the Kiowa Culture Program on this day of March the 19th, 1979, back here at the Witchline Church. Can everyone hear that okay? Is my volume up mm -hmm. high enough? Mm hmm Yeah. Oh. All right. Awesome. We'll hear what, it, what this one is about. those that are present. We are glad to have our chief translator back with us. Mr. Toyboy, he's back with us this morning. George Cuyadotti, James Silverhorn, Guy Tainpey, Stephen Zotai, George Sudel, Hazel Botone, Esther Topai, Isabel Tuhatchett, Lucy Sumter, Margaret Dencoy, and Melvin Galantai, who will be, be working on the transcripts as we go along with our session. And uh, for the invocation, I'm going to ask my, my Uncle James to give us the invocation this time. Cool, <laughs> Get on, Dutch, and more pocket, can't I cook, don't be can't, cock, a cock, equal dock, a dock pound, the valley, they are condor, a bit of target. Mom, son, dock, cook it, all get, get all, get all, get them, get, contents of the solo, the dots, I can, they don't think of key that they could get up and can't get home, elder daughter, naked, dog, get neck, dots, I told. Um, don't say, don't get down my dog, it do I come at any hut, so let caught the very good there. I get the conk, the bone doll, it come on, the tape, the day monk, and the own camera, but I get the hut. Um, Tim could open, cook, you had the Monday. Yeah, go on, poem, the pine, I don't take it, don't take it, son, they could make a pun. ロックレンケナウトロンタイタケネコトメカテンハイアンペイクノンテイモントオタマドケイエムドメルドンテキポンドケテンオネテペクンデアボンカントコケトンヘトンタトヤノメルペルアケトンデバボトロンテイムクエ
Okay, uh, let's see. I'll start with uh, Grandma D. Would you like to share any thoughts from his prayer? Well, it's, it's in the spring or coming spring. And he's talking about uh, spring arriving. But the one, the thing that I remember uh, and nearly, well, a lot of these prayers are always about how they're glad to meet together with one another and that they're accustomed to meeting one another and gathering together. And sometimes they say, well, there's almost like they they have a new relationship, like they're akin to each other. And, and uh Thoughts like that, they 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 do that several times. That that's what I, I want to remember. They enjoyed uh, getting together and doing what they're doing. Obaha. Oh, aho, Grandma. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Miss Marion. Would you like to share any? Comments on the prayer? Uh, well, I agree with the words. I was listening to the words. And I was, you know, just caught some words that I thought were interesting. Like, uh, I'm told, you know, he's talking about pretending like God's will work. He talks about the heaven, his mom, yeah. Talk about, um, up, you know, the, the sky, the heaven. And then he says, God, he, day on, on day, God created everything. But then he was talking more about, this is what I didn't quite catch because he said, Final eight day, you know, you down again. It's like there's some people that are older um, become tired or tired. So I don't know whether he was um, talking about their illness or not. I'd have to listen to it again. But um, he said, We're meeting at the church outside, though. Ache all day. He won't, uh, huh, which means it's a uh, pity us. And um, that's about all I'm going to say because I was trying to, I was listening to his words, but I wanted to capture them and uh, what he was trying to say, but I couldn't do both at the same time. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, 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 awesome. Uh, Grandma Martha. Oh, never sure if I'm muted or not. Okay. Um, when he starts to um say his prayer, he uh describes a lot about the weather when he starts out. And like Dolores said, it's probably in the spring because he keeps talking about the rain, the rain that's there. He said twice he said, uh Tom ailed a doll. He said, you know, water is falling from the sky. And uh all this was made by the creator. And he's talking about them as a group meeting at the church. And he asked for peace in the future. And when they have sickness. He was saying in his prayer that to keep all of them well uh, as a tribe, I think. And that's what I got out of it. Oh, uh -huh.
All right. Uh, let's see. Let's check and see. Oh, I think we got everyone. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press play and see who speaks first here. And now at this time, George Sewell will. Ah, cool. How the king get Tom Kim a tanko? Do he get door them? Yeah, don't sign it. I go key to the how the tongue get door them. Go how, how it get door get them key hold door. Go key hold door. Go get them. Go go any of the, any go do he get door the. Hey go, get go do more coin man. Hey go get paid by the tongue. Go take away go. Hey, I think I told him to get out there. Come on, what out the eye? What don't I? I put you in a computer. Say hello, how are you? I think you look happy. I can't get no good at you. Do I go and get dark at all? I think I'm dark. もうどうしたいと思うとどうかどうきっとんかさてちょもうどうしたいと思うけどてっぺいてんてやくんだけんかとんけどへいこへんことうひんけどてこきゃくどもんこんてほんてこへいことうひんかパーんどよもちんかお
this uh, when they did their prayers, they lived in it, and, and then they had religious services in the teepees. And uh, that's that's all I'm going to say. I agree with what she said. I was listening to the words as well. Okay. Oh, wow. Paul, aho. All right. Uh, Grandma Martha, no? Okay. Uh, they both kind of cover a lot of that. And when he starts talking about the teepee itself, he keeps calling it the Dohe, which means like the real house, I think. And he keeps saying it's very important. He said they lived well in those teepees. Uh, even the medicine was tied in there, too. And he kept saying that the tiki was important. They used it for doctoring in there, too. And like Delores said, that uh, Native American church, I mentioned a peyote in there. And at the end, he repeats again that it was small going memories. It's very useful to the Omaha. Oh, a who? Awesome. Off to a good start. Um, okay, let's see who speaks next. Steve Zotai. Ego, ego, kida do de ego. Tongue get do ego. Tohi, but tongue. Tongo, to ego, so the old keep my tohi get do. Tohi get so to. M. Dolce, to get more, call me B. Dega Dolce. On the get guy, but thought I get get to on the ego Dolce, get doyum, get ha, get do. Get on the get Congo to the old, to him, get do the old. Dolce, get get on the old. On the B. Dada, go to the old, get to ego. To him, get do, but all go on the talk, get do. All go go, but get do. So Okay. We started talking fast at the end. Um Pihok Yama. Cool. Well, it started out with uh the same note that the previous speaker that that was uh, important to the car was and that they used it for religious purposes and and other things they in the past but he was talking that he just remembers well more uh, clearly in the time when he remembers that it was used for by the Native American church people to have their the meetings there and that's what he he remembers using it for and then he remembers how they used it for Native American church but he said uh, he remembered and it's earlier in his life and then he said he didn't know he didn't go in the teepee anymore he didn't go there so he he doesn't know He's, he's just assuming that they still use it in the same way that he remembers. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right. Um, old boy. Uh, cool. Um, only said a bit. She said she covered most of it. The worst. He was you know, the same 
as a past speaker, is there a lot of prayers were done in the TPs? He said the older person so um, took part in those, and that was part of uh, their their life. That's what he was referring to, and. Um, and he just ended with, um, he, he knows that it's used for the, right now, the same people, the TP, I mean, TOT. And then he just ends by saying, the Kawa traditions are good. Yeah. Obama. And his name, Bo Tully. Oh, uh, who? Did you say he said his name is Bo To? Bo Tali. Oh, Bo Tali. Oh. Huh. Like beaver moving or something. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, who? All right. Um, it's Ogu Koma. Uh, okay. He, I don't think he. Spoke very much of both those. Uh, these two ladies covered a lot of it. When in my notes, I pretty much had down just kind of what they were saying. So I'm not going to add anything to it. Oh, uh oh. -huh. All right. Let's go to the next speaker here. Nagatimpi. <laughs> Ah, Yako <laughs> Eh, <laughs> On the higher, um, Gawat, Get 
con te che assomi, con te che attacchi a noi, che tutto no. Che te non ti chieda, che è tutto con te, che è assoluto, 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 che è ギャオナオンタモナオンタモエトコエクゲトゲゲテンソトトウイギャモンコンソテキヤガトコロドンテキハイデトテネヤオニャコキャコンテキャデイクゲトテナトウヒエクゲトキゴルドデトサトギャド
when I hear you talk about that, I can think back to when we were younger and the teepees were set up and um, grandpa, our great grandpa jail, the venison had passed on the hill and it was the same way. There was no uh, plague or animal. Whereas we say messing around the teepee or in any place and making a lot of noise and show respect. And we were, children were reminded of that every day. I can just visualize that teepee and the teepees as they were. And uh, these men that were there uh, rambled by and corn were in and all the other brothers and how they cooked outdoors and uh, prepared food. And there was always, as usual, you know, kind of, they've always got food enough for everybody. And cooking outdoors is one of the things that I really enjoy for, for years and years. And uh, those are things that I taught my sons. But, of course, those bring back memories. And... I'm going to start with Omaha. Oh, aho. Awesome. Uh, Ogu Koma. Okay. I think both of them covered just about everything he said in there. So I'm not going to add a, a lot of the same thing, but uh, other than he was saying that they had a, a lot of respect for the use of that TV because they did a lot with it, not only. If they lived there, but to tr they treated people. They you know, did you know people that needed um, care and things like that. I mean, it's just a lot of respect for that. Oh, 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 awesome. Okay, let's see. See who speaks next. Now, James Silverhorn. Is it on? Ah, Kuanko, no, I think I get. I don't think I'm. Oh, he ain't. What don't get contact? So I'll get home. I'll get home. I'll get home. I'll get home. Oh, he ain't. What don't get on the detail? On the tongue. I'll get home. 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 That's all to go. John, they are here now. They're doing good. Don't we think of it? Get out there. Yeah, born with Gunter Hayo to take a Monday. Italia, hey, they come as I said, Italia, but don't get them cut up. Don't the mess I had known. They don't get up. Oh, he hold a key. They could. Anna saw that though he the more good. I got all my show. They are the good and ten so thank they tow and cook it out to come on. Come out, take down and rest at a cookie over to the content to do my cotton cut off, pick it down to pocket, cook yas, I can cut a cup. I can do it. I go, but don't get coik, a convado, go ham dots on the dog, tail dot at home, top of wind on there. Yeah, don't you eat the hunt day, get door dots out, but go on the dots out, don't get in, cook more dog, he told the cutter on their horse. And they won't do it at all. But they get tens of them at the gun on their own time. Oh, 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 about, I couldn't really hear, kind of speaks fast sometimes. Anyway, I will say that he was telling a story or something, maybe Marion and, and uh, or Martha now could remember, uh, remember the first words when he, when he started speaking. And then he ended up with uh, how, uh, that was used for prayer, and it was kind of like a 
well as they orders and well being sacred to them, the activities that went on in there. And so that's all I'm gonna say. I can't really uh, uh, explain everything that he said other than he was the same that he appreciated that though he you now was put up and what it how they used it and with uh, with a lot of reverence for the TP I guess dwelling place and the other place things that it was used for overhaul. Oh, uh, oh. Um, it's a little toy. Oh, cool. He was a uh, breed. And his question, I guess, to himself was, on the don't get, don't get, you know. He was wondering what kind of word that don't get, where it came from. And uh, then he talked, just made a brief statement about the Zionic College, has to do with the Benson's. I think he was referring because they were kept in the TV. But he just mentioned, uh, I can, yeah, I can. Yeah. And that is uh, Peody he was talking about. So I, he was referring to the use of Peody in the TV. And that's uh doors covered the other side. Oh my Oh uh -huh. uh, so good go on. Okay. Yeah, I think they covered most of it, but uh, when he first starts out he talks about the teepee itself and the name. Though he, he said that even the name was interesting. And he said that was where they um kept the anxiety tally. And when Mulligan said when the medicine was tied there, you know, that's what we're talking about. And he said it was very useful. Uh, they had prayers in there. And it was like a prayer house. And um, in the end, whenever, whatever they did, it, all, it made all of them happy. Oh, Oh, uh -huh. All right, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and press play for the next one. Hazel Boto. <clears throat> Dope <laughs> No get koi kum to de on ye hai go ne do tsai to oh an a do tsai he be o yo gal bu he ton to mona o mo he go ge a so ye mon se me ga hai de tsu pa tsu koi go to hi ge do de to ke kum da ge do aki yo ma i do de go an Sort again, the horn goem do Kakum boem do sa do em san do oh oh go to we get do de a co em kia ye but oh get pio mon de ge o moko hon de ha ye ge moko lom do de le go te ma ye bo do ge go he go and hide, get the go, but no get it so. Goon do the go, cool bill, sold the pay, the common gum get, palagon, gaye get, ozan go. A go to double, get come the ho, get high do go. 
And uh, she covered about everything, but what I thought was interesting was that small comment she made about how the TP was set up and they knew how to use the TP. And even for the weather. So they well, could, you know, she didn't go into detail, but I know what she meant. She meant like you, you fix those TP flaps for the different types of uh, weather to keep the place dry, warm, or just dry. And um, that she's had this uh, urge to pray ever since she was a small child and she saw that TP. And then she knew that it was used for saying which is the puny. And that uh, that uh, the God had put uh, I don't know like what just how to ex describe it, but like uh, the veil, just the spirit, I guess, gave the mind a good feel. And um, so it was just a good feeling that came over when um, seeing the TP and knowing about these things. And that's all I'm going to say. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I was thinking both of these two... Um spoke a lot about what she said in there so I'm not going to add a whole lot but um, she just describes in there how that uh, teepee was kind of used like a tabernacle it was really like a prayer house uh, and she called it doll side though so that's what that means and uh, she's she talking about women's work and how um, she had to prepare a lot for everyone and um they had a respect for all they did, and they did a lot in that teepee. Um, and she saw that when she was younger, and um, she said um, something about entering that prayer house. Uh, uh, I think that was part of the end, end of the good. It came to like you have a good, good way of life by following what you needed to do. Omaha. Oh, I hope. Awesome. Um, all right, let me press play. And I'm Margaret Dinko. But Morning get torn, they do get up. My dog, they go. Oh, you they saw they my dog. Get so good, man, high act, though he get dog. Kiko get a sock, they go. Oh, and dog chat, they go. Bah, he got kekum kill. Go, they go. Get me on my God. Get part of the people who have a heal body. Because I got killed. Saki that by the pike, he that can be called. Get those sight on the. They only get I get on the. We talk about. Queen Mahela got he ate on the 
Okay. Um, well, she said that uh, it was a, uh, she doesn't know how long or when, I guess the TP was, I'm saying invented, not invented, who thought of it and, and who, where, where it was made but that it was useful, that was used uh, for for uh, everything, anything, like which like the others, you know, spoke, and and people lived there, and then they used it for uh, healing purposes and for. Uh, worship. And uh, that was uh, the people lived there, and how could it was used for many purposes? So, oh, That was more oh. of a dang card. Oh, Margaret Dang called. Uh who grandma? Um uh, let's see. Uh old toy. Oh uh, cool. Yeah. Oh she just put emphasis on on key. Talk about how this TV here and the whole thing is way, way back. And no women, of course, did all the work and made the teepees. And they lived in the teepees and had a nice place to live. It's useful for everything cooking, sleeping. It was a prayer house. Go outside though. And today is the only year they do uh, medicine treating people in the TV. And the door is covered, so everything, so. Oh, wow. Oh, uh oh. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> um. Oh, good. Oh, my. Oh, cool. Um, well, both of them covered just about everything that Margaret said in there. Uh, she was repeating um, um, the uses for the teepee. So someone long ago found the use of that teepee, and the women sewed those teepees, and they, they um, prayed in there. It sounds like what she's describing is that they had a lot of uses for that teepee. Um, they did everything there. Omaha. Oh, oh, uh oh. -huh. <clears throat> All right, let me go ahead and play the next speaker. And more Lucy. No. There you go. He that do that on ki manaya ka kum ki kum da meto ka to sama ki gul da ko ado ko to to hi ke da to da ko to da ya te ato so ki ya to hi ke da ka 
kia Opo kia poto kia pioma Tei hon deiko Oko tau hiin kia tau deiko tei oho hon deha ya Kia tau kia omom tau ko Toi kia tau aatei kul kia poto Hapai kia tau deiko Akobom de akobom ke koto ho aku hol to tsut ke to akoku. On de haye ke om de tone ko, on de kop do tone ko, adoyom to kadoyom i tona. Gut o koto uhi ke to te i kipun kito. Oyot al ke. Ei tonte kiitä keittäitä vuote. Tauhiin ke taatetta kuuhiaan taat saitta uke taako. Hape ke taatein. En pohjom kuutta oho, moim omutan kuutta. Teitä kuuhiaan ojate. Jakkom tai ei ote kiitä keittäitä vuote. Ei honte. Ja koulutaan, kun kiikultaan tehon. Dootsaiko tei toi, dootsai, ei dootsai kumkohan. Oho, tei tou soi kiikumko teko jutu. Ei käin vattu. Tou hiinkä toi tei käin. Ei käin vattu. Okay. Uh, he helped get my uncle. Well, uh, I think her theme is that the, like the others said, that the TP was used for, like all the others said, many, many different things. And they all talk about how it was used to heal people it was a more or less a, a place of prayer and and doctrine and restoring people back to health. It was used for that, and and then he said uh, sometimes she that was in a past where she was saying that. Oh, sometimes people put up a teepee and just, of course, we know it as uh, what the Native American church uses it for. She didn't mention that, but she was saying that at times some people put up a teepee and yeah. just to live in there for a little bit. And she said, on time, they go in there and to to just uh, feel good. Just go in and put up a teepee and, and I guess put your bed and do carry on as if that's, you know, that's what they said. So some people do that. They put up a teepee and go in there and just live in there. I guess own time, that means so that you feel good. It brings back memories and you feel good. Some people do that. I thought that was interesting. Obaha. That was Lucy Sompty. Oh, oh, that is interesting. I like I like hearing her say that. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, toy. Uh, cool. Miss Mary, you might still be muted. Okay, I was going to ask Dolores. Uh, I agree with what Dolores said, but I was going to ask her about this one word. It's uh, yeah, 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 my dog. 
and then get other ones. Eight, get, get, yay, bato. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, but though, because um, what the way I understood it, and some I asked someone about, it, and to me they never heard that word, and so what it meant to me, it meant nothing to them. So I was gonna ask Dolores, what did she think about that word? I don't remember hearing that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Martha and Ella yeah, has yeah, young, yeah. Yeah, younger ears than I do. <laughs> I might not have heard it either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Miss Marion, this is Melody. I thought I heard oh. I heard oh her say that twice. Also, it sounded it reminded me of yeah. uh, it sounded like she was saying res something about respect, like you know how we hear uh, what was it? Um, oh, she yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but there was like, no translation. Other, but I don't know. No. Anya, hi, God. Yeah, 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 but yeah, like not, not, not getting oh, It's yeah, yeah, like, it sounds like a lot. And sometimes I heard that say, "I'm yelling, get dog." Hmm. Yeah, yes. Another one. Uh, no. You're, uh, you're, uh, you're, 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 like somebody's worried, you know, you're worried about your family or something, and say, honey, yike. Well, that's what, that's, that's the way I understand it, because that's the way I've heard it in that kind of context. Like when someone was ill and they say, talking in common, we're talking about the family members or something, yeah, I can get dogs. And to me, the, the family members are like, you know, worry, you know, you said in distress because of uh, the person's illness or whatever, not sure of the situation or what the situation would be. But anyway, I mentioned that to a couple of people and they, they say, I never heard that before, man. but I do have those words. Well, anyway, okay. Oh, sorry, I was typing in the chat. <laughs> Uh ho. Um okay. So good. Go on. Okay. Um I don't even hear that. I have to listen to that again. <laughs> I missed it, I guess. Uh but as she just kind of went over what everybody else was talking about. I think uh Dolores and <clears throat> Marion covered most of it, but she repeated that they lived in that teepee and all of it was useful. Uh if someone was sick and if something happened they would treat that people that person and uh so they every day had lived there but they also used it for prayers um and we still have it today and there's a lot of respect for it what she said but yeah i have to listen to that you can't catch the words Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to look up that one word in the glossary too. see if I can find something. I'll put it in the chat if I do. Um, okay, let's uh, listen to the next speaker. Mr. Tupac, 
Okay. Um, people give up. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> you just referred, I think, the theme of what she was saying was that the TV had meant a lot to, because of it was not the purpose, it did many things in there. But today, she said, uh, she made a reference like if there's a a large gathering, say like uh, like at the Brooklyn dance in the summer, you see the teepee. She said it makes you feel good. It's it's a beautiful sight to see a teepee. Now, and she was at toward the end. She was talking about the younger people that if they would. Uh, feel that way about it, even though that would be the only time they would see one, probably. But then it, that in the past, the Kai was, the older Kai was, <clears throat> and, and they had different feelings about it. And I think she started out and said that little children are born the TP, and that's their home. And they, they're around there, they hang around the teepee. I think that's all I heard her say when you started. So, over. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Awesome. Uh, let's see. It's all toy. Mm -hmm. 
There's really, she was, as a matter of fact, who was the speaker? Esther Topon. Oh, Esther. Okay, I didn't hear that book. She really didn't have that much to say. And um, I think Dolores seemed to cover most of it. Same thing about she grew up and she saw these uh, beings, the TPs, and they're called it. They go in there for prayers too now, to me. But um, of course, we, she mentioned they were used for living purposes, whatever. And that's a beautiful thing to see today as well. Okay, Obama, hold up. And go up. Oh, so good, Obama. Okay. I think they mentioned everything that she talked about. She didn't talk a long time, but she they brought out all the points that she kind of talked about. So I wouldn't add to it. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. <sighs> Not is ability to it. Uh. Ain't <coughs> ก็ตัวหินจะตอได้ก็จะกูต้องหมอกุยมาอีกที่ฮอนเดอปะฮอเจ้าหมอตอใส่จะจะตอโอ้หัวกูแคปพอยให้กาตอใส่ตัวแค
you go in the teepee. I don't know how many. I uh, hope Marion and Martha now caught that where they went in. Uh, I didn't. I never heard what what the why they went in there, but she used some words that I, I never heard. But that's what she did. She went on and told what the teepee, how they used the teepee for different uh, events among the tribe that other than Native American church. Omaha. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see. It's uh, old toy. Oh, cool. Uh, really not too much more. Yeah, she mentioned the ghost dance of call. Oh, and the, I, I mean, the sun dance and then the ghost dance. Uh, uh, and uh, then she says she heard the stories of the oh, same thing. It was this house of worship. You just smoking and praying. Of course, those are all done. Like, there's a proper procedure for all of that as well. And, uh, okay. Oh, Obama. Oh, well, that's all I wanted to comment on. I know I did not hear that word. Uh, you were talking about, I thought I did, but um, I, don't, I guess we'd have to listen to it again to catch the word Dolores was talking about. Okay. This oh. Uh -huh. uh, come on. Okay. <clears throat> I think that both Marion and Dolores covered that. And if I, I think I kind of missed that word she's talking about. So I would have to listen to that tape one more time or that part. It was. Uh, what was that word? Dude? Yeah, I don't know the word, but that she also said they went in there and then they heard something. Is that it? And uh, remember, I have to hear it again. Yeah, do you want me to play it again? Yeah, yeah, let's play it again. Find it. I heard that. I don't think she described. It. Yeah, that's why I'm not sure. Okay, let me uh let me rewind it. Uh, she only talked for two minutes, so it should be yeah, it's short. Quick. Okay, all right, let me turn it back here. Not Isabel to it. Uh, go. Hey, the kid. But yet, to son, ma. Oh, he get out. Oh, hi, I could do. Yeah, I'm a hundred year old mother. I'm a poor kid, man. I'm a go. Oh, you get out. Oh, go. Nego ha ta ba pu yon de ya o ho ya o ma dem ya tu san ma nego tau hi ya to de ko ya ko do mo ku me i te hon de o pa ho ya o ma to sai ya ya to o ho a ku ya po ya he ga to sai tu ya po ya te pu em em to yo mi to te ya Oh, I hate it. I ain't go. Don't he get all the in hate the hunt the hair? Yeah, oh, my. Hunt the dog, yeah, and baton, yeah. I think eat the baton, get there, and oh, I hate it. Got to go. And son, bon, he'll go to go come, but all the in gun, go, bon, they saw me, don't you? It's a. And go boy, um, uh, my, your mind, you ain't calm, or that old girl, don't me. They go, go, on the car, he thought, or the combined, yeah, he did. He go, and I hate me. Boy, 
ingo on kohtua on mihto teali kut jäähjö pikoho ja heipi heikko. Hei jik ikko mutu hei hundike on mihto teka taapa kuus monkuriko. Ei te hundi tau hienkut ja toote. Ja 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 oho hundike on muuten. Ja tuossaan me kotoihin ja toote kuja koutu mokkuimme. Ei te hundi oo paho ja ja on to. Toiin kun te toot oot en mä oo paha hundit ja aamat en mä jäytit siitä vapaa jättu sään mä. A häintit ootat sulla oko häijä ja juusaam häinkä toihin ja toot en. Okei, hei hau kiva. Well, I still didn't get the word, but I think I heard somebody would have whatever it was uh, that I don't remember the the word that was used. But anyway, I think it said that they hit on whoever it was that went in there, and it seemed to me that there would there was someone outside and that would hit on the tea flaps. I think mm -hmm. so. Anyway, that. I better stop there. <laughs> but it was something, didn't say how many people went in and the, she called it, said a word for it, and then said that they hit on the TV flaps or something. The person was on the outside. Who had, it wasn't anyone that was in the TV. It was someone outside. That's the way I understood it. So Anyway, the, I don't want to. Say more. That's okay. Oh, a who? A old oi. Yeah, that's what hurt too. But there was no, there was no. Um, she didn't give an explanation. She just said, "That's a good base. Like somebody was hitting on something." But she said something about. Something was up in the air or whatever before that. And then they heard someone knocking. You know, whether it's on the TV or the door, or they just heard the noise. Mm -hmm. So that's where it becomes a little bit ambiguous. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's a good coma. Okay. <laughs> I, she said this word, and I'm. I'm not sure if that's really what all of it was, but she kind of seemed like gave a name, and then she said they could hear that unku boing. That means she could hear something knocking there, and it's just kind of like she threw in that little part. So without knowing that, I think it's hard to to try to figure out what that is. I'm like the Dolores. I don't know. I've ever heard that. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Hmm. Well, maybe one of the other speakers mentioned something. Um, but that was uh, Isabel, right? Isabel Tihachik. But well, she also says that she heard these stories. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. All right. Uh -huh. Good discussion. Um, all right. Let's see who the next speaker is then after her. Our chief translator, Lloyd Torbell. All right. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, 
Hey, Clark, I can't tell they don't get on. So long. And get down on my beat. I know it all gone. I know it 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 gone. They got tents on, get on, it's a noike, yeah, dog, I don't go, I could. Now, gun, yoko, I am the ak, yak, ak, um, um, I got to get out of get hands out down my hand, but don't. No, I don't take But how I tell you, get out of I get cold to get out on the back bone. I got a feet Hey, get go get gum, the go pick it. Hey, I'll take you, I'll take go, get go, but the dough, I'll be telling get go, get us. So long. I got a gun, I got a kid, 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 so get down my chuan em teita. Ki kuba hao kia taiket. Eko kaya to teite. No haia no wa tont a. No ya hai kia tau katu taon kia taiket. So lo kia tom da dao ma eo teki. I go on the door. I want to go get them to get them. I go back at them to wire. Oh, go get high, get dog. Have a bad pill, I go. Big pill, I go. Oh, go get them. I want to eat the go get them. I go. Tabat haiko te dao zon. Aka, a kaunt, aka, te ak eko mai, te tao kawata. Solo, eko wahao, peltok i te kika, ovo, tao koi te meo te kita kena, oka ke dome, aya on te tso, aki te tso, ak eko mtao te te. I go hang it, I go not give up on what I have to show up to them. Okay. Uh, well, he didn't really speak about teepee as such, a life in a teepee like they did. But he was just talking about where they were, the group was, and that they weren't there, they never ever lived the life that their grandparents and great great parents 
Kiowas before them, they never lived like they did. And all they know is uh, the stories they heard and were, and he asked if anybody, you know, he, that was a, that the, those cowards were gone, the cowards were no more. And just what we see today. And then he talked about some of, some, we don't have teepees, but some people do. Some of you do have teepees and among your belongings today. And that you put it up and, and, and so that, he's saying that that's the extent of their really experience as the people uh, along their grandparents' day. And so that's mostly what he talked about, about how, and then they'll never, they never live that kind of life. And, and so if they didn't, I guess they're saying, you know, neither will we, but he did say that some of us, some of you have teepees among your belongings and you put them up. And so he's just saying that we have the teepee, but well, didn't never live uh, uh, as they did way, way back. Overall. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I agree with what she said. And um, he was just saying that um, that uh, anyone, they tell stories now, and so they talk about things that happened, but he, no one can say it was this way or that way because we don't know about much of what was happened, but I think he meant in, in some of the living or whatever they were doing, referring to the teepees, and he said different now because the traditions are gone. Just, you know, he thinks of this and that the future, he doesn't know what will be or what they'll know. And, and so this is, he said, it, it's just all gone. And he's talking about our Kaiwa way of um, life. Lifestyle traditions, that's, that's what he, I'm sure he's getting to touching along because he says our language is gone, and um, it just everything's just disappearing. And uh, the traditions are gone, language is gone. Okay. Oh, Bob. Oh, 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 good. Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, I think most of them covered most of what he talked about in there. And basically, I think he was going back and talking about uh, how they had the teepees, how they were used, how important it was, and how respectful they were about it. But then he goes on toward the end and talks about, you know, things are fading out for us now that uh, Kaiwas don't really live that way anymore. And they do have those once in a while, I guess they would put up the teepee when they, they need it to, but uh, he said, um, uh, what was it? Talked about how they lived in the past and then uh, and he said, we at the end, he said something, we won't see that again. So he's talking about that old way of the way they lived. And that's what I got out of it. Oh, uh, who? I think the tape is ended, but I'm going to press play just to make sure. All right. Obaha.
We did it. We got through a whole recording. Not on time. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a uh, I was wondering, the, I appreciate it. I just wonder if it's boring or the younger people get anything out of it. I was going to say, man, that was so good. Thank you so much for the mentors for doing that. It's just really good to hear them speaking. And then you guys yeah. translating what they're saying. Yeah, we miss a lot of it, but we do our best. And it's, yeah. It's such a short time to try to discipline each and translate each woman, but I was wondering the same thing, but Dolores just said, that are these people, whoever's listening, just think, oh, just pass over their hand. I don't really care. I don't know. I just wondered. <laughs> but uh, I enjoy the words myself. Has, um, it's um, a... I hope the students. This is Alisanne. I enjoy the recordings, even though I don't understand half the words they say. Mm -hmm. um, and I like hearing what you say about them, the mentors. But it just brings me back to memories of growing up when I was little. Because you heard so much Kiowa back then, all the time, at least in my, you know, who I was around with my great grandparents and my dad and my grandma's. And just going, you know, as a little girl, I was a daughter of an officer. So whenever we'd go to Gord clan meetings, you never heard English at all, even at the table. They spoke to me in Kiowa. And as a little girl, I could understand it. But I, over the years going through public school, I lost it. But it takes me back. It, it's very nostalgic and it makes me feel good. So I'm not bored at all, Grandma. I, uh, I am very happy hearing um all of you speak Kiowa it makes me feel good so Aho. well good and I appreciate uh, this project very very much it's a treasure that that's priceless only if only we could get it all done and where everyone could read it and understand and that would be beautiful but might sound impossible, but maybe it's not. So anyway, appreciate uh, listening and and passing on what I think I heard. I know I miss a lot of it because Kai was deep, and we can't get the uh, we can't translate it properly at times. Well, you do the best you can, and uh, I just have to say that we really appreciate you all taking the time out of your day to to help us out and help us listen and understand. And you know, it would I I think it is possible eventually to transcribe and translate all of these, but it is just so uh, helpful to have each of your perspectives on you know interpretations, even though I know it's not word for word. But, you know, we get the general idea and that it gives us a point of reference to go back, you know, to focus on, like, say, which speech we want to go back and kind of get more in depth on. So we really appreciate each of your time. So I think it's really useful and it sounds like it's helpful to all the learners that join also. Oh, uh, Awesome. Uh, well, this session, um, it was recorded, so we'll get it on YouTube. You'll see it post if you're subscribed to the YouTube. Um, and then I'll send the recordings out also. Um, but we're meeting uh, every other Sunday uh, this spring. So that way we're not like bumping into some of the holidays this spring, hopefully, knock on wood. <laughs> Um, but I'll send reminders out. I'll send the recording out. And um, I guess that uh, wraps us up for this evening or this afternoon. 
Um, let's see for our closing prayer. Um, Oguk Goma, Vedat Sai. Oh, um, all upon mind, all the Kita, all the get all, um, they all the day back, all the go angle on the um. But um, but don't get anger, get good thing. Um, I'd like to say thank you for um, all of us being able to gather together and listen to historic. Um, I guess I guess you would say historic memories of what belonged to the tribe. And sometimes there's words in there that you kind of miss because they're talking about with like, how I say old Kiowa, but it's a, a good thing that we have this and that we can talk about it and learn from it. Even we as mentors still learn. Um, we ask uh, that you watch over everyone who was able to make this today and that we have uh, good days coming into our lives for the future. Uh, aho, obaha. Aho. 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 All right. Well, everyone, uh, stay warm if the weather gets cold where you're at. And I uh, hope everyone has a good week. And uh, for those of you who join our Wednesday sessions, we'll see you Wednesday. Otherwise, um, have a good evening. Oh, I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>